Hello my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. It was my birthday weekend, so I had a lot of fun. And I got some good little goodies for my birthday. Like this little um, singing bowl that we're going to use today to clear the energy. It's so cute if it's in the palm of your hand. So let's go ahead and clear this energy, okay, before we get started. All right, I'm just gonna do it once. <laughs> it's a little loud, but it does the trick. Okay, that was a little extra one. <laughs> All right, let's get into it for the Aries. I missed you guys. All right, here you are. The full energy. One more for the Aries. Okay. So, I see a very fresh start to something. Or somebody wants another chance or you're embarking on something brand new whether that be something regarding your career or whether that's regarding a, re a relationship or literally somebody is having a baby okay and you're celebrating um or this could definitely be you could be celebrating someone's birthday or someone you or someone close to you is actually having a baby and it's a it's celebration time, new life into the world. But these are the energies. We have fool and we have birth. Okay, so we're going to dig a little deeper and see exactly what this brand new energy is for the, for the Aries. This is really beautiful. It's almost like I'm feeling like I'm like a miracle or something it's like really intense but really beautiful and and like fresh and brand new and un i'm feeling pure and untouched okay so and this might be coming at like as a surprise let's say somebody didn't you know maybe somebody's i didn't want to know the gender of their child you know and then you know here comes the delivery and the doctor announces oh you're having a boy or oh you're having a girl and i mean you're just lucky to have your child you know with you but you know still you know maybe the whole time you thought you were having a girl maybe the whole time you thought you're having a boy maybe the whole time you thought you were just having one and out pops two you know you never know <laughs> But this is like a, like a pure energy, a surprise, and something brand new, okay? But I'm feeling a lot of happiness and a lot of joy that comes with it. And I'm feeling like it's a lot of good news. Okay, Aries. <laughs> the Fool and the Birth card. Whoa. Two wanted to come out, but it came out all funky. Okay, so we have a message of concern or just a message, but this is a big time change is on the horizon. What did I say? A little surprise. Look at her. She's a little taken back by the news that she's receiving. Okay, she's she's getting the news in. The light bulb moment is going off and she's like, you know, <laughs> it's ruled by the 14, the one and the four. That's a five. Five signifies change. Okay, what is this? All? Okay, so we have the community card here. So, so something that has to do with your family. <sighs> Your family's been hiding something and they're really okay are you 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 kept something hidden from your family or your community until it was just the right time to announce something okay what is this news coming in for the aries like okay it could be like a new addition to the family okay <laughs> oh 
Okay, now well, we have despair. That's rolled by the 32, the three and the two, that's a five. So now we have two fives. So something about a tower moment that brings forth this new beginning. Why is despair here with the community and the message? Okay. Now we have high honor. Okay. Well, I don't really have a tower card <laughs> in the Kipper deck, but in the traditional Rider Waite or in other, in a, several tarot decks, it's a building that's exploding. So you would hear a loud noise. It's I catching you know it alerts all your senses okay so this is high honor okay and the tower is usually tall something there's some sort of big event happening okay there's gonna be an alarm sound or something these are the cannons going off so this is like an explosion and you know, back in the day, those cannons would bring down buildings, would bring down ships, okay, when they la launched their cannons. Something about a false person? Something's being exposed, okay? Somebody doesn't like that something's been exposed to a community, to a family. Something's over, something's being reborn. Okay, or somebody is finding out. I'm feeling love child energy, okay, like your family didn't even know that you had like a, like a kid out there. Okay. And whatever, for whatever reason, maybe the baby mama, the baby daddy or whoever, um, didn't really tell you about it or tell you that the child is yours finding out that it this child has been yours all along that was just a side note okay okay or there is a false person in your community in your family that has in the background trying to bring you down, trying to stop you from having a new beginning. Stop! They're trying to stop you from um, you expanding in your career, you expanding in your finances, you expanding in your friend group. You They were trying to bring tower moments to you to stop you. They don't want to see you having a fresh beginning or a new beginning. They don't want to see you moving on. They don't like that you close chapters or cut cords. Somebody seeing somebody in a new life, in a new role. And ever since they caught word of it, they've been trying to bring a stop to it, bring an end to it. More in this situation, please. Whoa, big chunk wanted to fall out. Let me get into it with the tarot after this. Okay. So, <laughs> it wouldn't be an Aries reading without this card showing up. 
So this is hitting the jackpot. This is ruled by the 11. The 11 is ruled by justice. The justice is ruled by karma. So you've endured a lot or you've taken a lot and now it's time for a new beginning. Um, I just feel like people from your past were trying to get in the way of you moving on. They've been spying on you. They've been trying to cause tower moments for you. And they don't even have to be literal like family members. They could be just acquaintances, okay? Acquaintances that are watching you, viewing you in the background, okay? You see this gentleman in the background spying on this lady? They see that you're a star, you know, that you shine bright. There's something really special about you. And I feel like somebody tried to get greedy with you or unbeknownst to you, they considered you competition. And you weren't even competing with them, but they see your potential. Maybe they see your potential more than you see your potential, okay? But they know that you're worthy of this jackpot, okay? They know if you're something, you know, whatever you do, whatever God gifted you with to present to the world, they know that it will lead to abundance and they, they want to stop it. They were trying to stop it, okay? Um, but I think it's here for you anyways, Aries. Okay, this is 777. Seven's the number of heaven, okay? This is hitting the jackpot. This is... Ding, 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 ding! <laughs> this is all the cherries, okay? This is a win. This is a yes. So you're going to get your new beginning, whether they like it or not, okay? Because this is the path that's destined for you. Um, something might have been taking a little longer than expected, but you're coming out of it. But... Um, it was like challenge after challenge and, or, or obstacle after ob obstacle and you didn't know where it was coming from. It was coming from this group of people or somebody in your community, somebody in your family um, that's been in the background. And I think that this person is either in competition with you or they're like, um, they want to be like really possessive over you and they don't want anybody like acknowledging you or something like that there could have been an argument there could have been a, a conflict at, at one point oh this was at the bottom of this deck <laughs> the change card things are going to be changing around things are going to be changing around you're moving away from this, okay? The full energy is leaving um, things that no longer serve you in the past. Learning your learning your lessons, gaining the wisdom, and moving forward. Because you have like a new release on life. You have a new outlook in life. Um, there's something that needs to be born, okay? Uh, it, whether it's your ideas, it's your gift that... Your God-given gifts that need to be presented. You might be um, a little vulnerable now because it's in the beginning phases. But um, that's why they're attacking now because it's you're still fresh at whatever you're doing. Um, regarding if it's a career, you're still you're still learning the ropes. You're you're not all the way as seasoned okay <laughs> you're still you're still fresh even though like let's say you you're like a year into it or you're still fresh there's still more to come but you're holding your own Aries okay you're holding your own you're doing well but since you're in this infancy stage it's a shame that I feel like these are grown adults okay that are trying to um, put a stop to this because they realize how great you are. All right. <laughs> or Aries, I have to say it. This is what you're doing. All right, let's go. <laughs> More for the situation. 
Okay, so there's a victory. This is a six of wands. This is fire energy. This is taking action. This is somebody that's training or in training. I said <laughs> in the beginning, like, but they're training. Um, you know, you just don't enter the Olympics. Let's say, let's, let's just give swimming an example. To be like an Olympic swimmer or an Olympic diver. You just don't walk in there and say, I'm competing for the Olympics. No, you train. You train to get to that level, okay? And um, you've been training, Aries. You've been training for the race. Or somebody put you in, I told you, I felt like this competition energy or somebody entered you into a race that you didn't even know you were you were in, you were involved in a race. You just do you, okay? And that called on competitors. But you're going to reign victorious, okay? The six of wands is is the guy <laughs> that's doing a victory lap, okay? Somebody is giving a lot of attention, a lot of recognition, a job well done, pats on the back, you know, congratulations. So this is somebody doing like a victory lap. I feel like you're maybe on the next stage of, of whatever you're trying to accomplish. And you have a bunch of um, lovers and haters in the audience here witnessing it. Okay, some more for the Aries in this situation. Okay, more wands. I told you they were trying to take you down, okay? Like making you feel like a wounded warrior, making you feel like you couldn't like pass your levels, like striking over and over and over again, but you kept getting up. So that's what's building you stronger, okay? It's these challenges that you're overcoming that eventually are going to be the catalyst in helping you win the race in the end, okay? It's like the end is the the end is the beginning. All right, more for the Aries. Like whatever is happening happened for a reason, and you're going to be grateful for these little challenges that you had to face and overcome, because they're really going to help you uh, down the line. Is what I'm feeling. Okay, now we have more fire. <laughs> Three fire elements in a row. Okay, now we have the Sagittarius. So you're getting a lot of attention. Okay, whatever you're doing, <laughs> you look like a winner. You look good doing it. People want to be around you. You're calling a lot of uh, good opportunity towards you with the law of attraction. Um, Something's going to happen quick. Like, I'm feeling like maybe overnight success, okay? Like, things are going to really start speeding up now. I feel like you you did a lot of the work. Um, like, all the, like the, the laborious tasks about whatever you're doing. I think that portion is done. And now things are going to start really speeding up. And things are going to start getting a lot more interesting, a lot more exciting, a lot more fun. Like I'm feeling like, an, okay, yeah, something is over. Like the competition is over or whatever they thought was competition was over. Somehow you were able to um, put an end to whatever this was. Like you finally like, you winning put an end to whatever it was. So now you can start a brand new life cycle, a brand new cycle with the fool in the birth here. What did I say? Death and rebirth. I know I said it. It's like, I feeling like you've overcome something. I feel like you won the battle. You won the race. And either that, if that was a battle against oneself <laughs> or a battle um, you know, like those little battles we have within, or if this was a battle you had with a community, like your community, whatever community you belong to. Okay. You did something to, to rise above it, <clears throat> even though they tried taking you down several times, 
because you're still um, a young grasshopper in this community or something, but you stuck to whatever you were doing. Yeah, it's time to celebrate. Time to celebrate, okay? <laughs> Pop that champagne to get it started. But yeah, it's time to celebrate your accomplishments because you overcame something. Um, you won the race, you won the battle is what I'm hearing, okay? And also, like I said, this could have been a third party situation trying to take out the competition really is what I'm feeling, okay? Okay, yep. What did I say? You put in like the hard labor or the laborist portion? Okay, you can drop it now. Because from now on, it's going to be like smooth sailing. All right. It was a lot. It was a burden to carry. The Nine of Wands is here too. A lot of fire energy. So I could be speaking specifically with the Aries Collective. Like this is... They came for you at least 10 times. Or they tried to recruit people against you. This is like a big group or, you know, group of 10 people or more. They're trying to recruit you to take you down. With something that they were saying, okay? Like maybe slandering, like don't believe this person or this person, you know, has a faulty product or some, some shit like that, you know, just to, to, to discredit you. This is what I'm feeling. They were trying to discredit you, okay? And that was a lot for you to overcome because these are coming from people in your community that it may be, eld, you know, elders or people that, you know, are a little farther along in their career. So people know more about them than they do you. And they have an influence, okay? So, they're like, I don't need no more. They looked at you, one look at you, they, they knew you were competition. They know that they, they, have, they have to raise their game once you entered the scene, okay, Aries? <laughs> they really didn't like that, but oh well. <laughs> Um, here we are with the six of swords. So you keep it pushing. You keep on moving. You're moving on to calmer waters. Things are going to get better. The sun is coming out. You made it out of this, this gray area. Okay. It felt like you were in like this gray area that you couldn't come down, come out of, but you found a way and you're going to get your new beginning. You're going to get your justice. You're going to get your karma. Okay. But they came for you. All right. <laughs> they were saying some pretty negative shit behind your back, trying to influence people's opinion to take you out, to take you down. But spirit helped you rise above this situation. OK, so that's all right. <laughs> all right. A little bit more. OK, yeah, here it is. I told you all the battle royale. Somebody trying to battle you. Unbeknownst to you, put you in a competition you knew nothing about. Um, but, okay. So the Hierophant is here. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but you're higher ranked spiritually. Like they might have like more influence because they've been around longer. But your gift is stronger. Um, you're 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 a spiritual leader. You're supposed to be where you are, um, and this is why you're winning. Because right out the gate, even though you're a fool, okay, and you're fresh and you're new on the scene, um, this is how you you're ranked. You're ranked as the chariot, okay, the victory, the winner, and a spiritual leader, okay, that as high as it can go. All right, the the. Um, is the highest spiritual card in the tarot, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
because this is who your competition is all right so the emperor or the empress drive the chariot okay you could be dealing with a cancerian also you don't have to i'm just tying in the astrological signs to the cards but um these are not spiritual leaders these are not pages these are not knights they're not kings they're not emperors they're not empresses you know they're not queens you know they're mm, these these are a bunch of nadas okay and this is why they had to group up on you because they knew <laughs> they knew that they were a bunch of nadas okay and uh they still couldn't take you out because you're this energy <laughs> this is big time energy okay but even though you carry this this high frequency of being a spiritual leader you still have to enter the ring at the bottom and make your way to the top just like anybody else okay but you might be rising a little faster than than others um but that's just part of the plan okay we're gonna wrap this up for the aries <laughs> because the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Angels are sending you um, people that are going to be there for you. Yes. <laughs> They're sending you your soul tribe, okay? People that are actually going to stand for you and represent you and protect you and love everything about you, okay? And they're on their way. They're coming in. I'm feeling a very loyal energy to these people. Okay. Yeah. Like these people are like doing really like below the belt shit, you know, because they, they already sense this quality about you that you're just, you're automatically like high ranking. You hold a strong frequency or, or something like that. And it's, it was detected and they wanted you off the radar. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Yeah. They were trying to make you quit, okay? But you had an angel on your shoulder, angel of temperance. Uh, they wanted you to walk away. They wanted to make it tough for you. They wanted you to give up and walk away because they know eventually you're going to lead the pack, Okay. You're going to lead the pack. So I'm going to leave it there for the Aries. I hope this message helped you. Don't give up. The new beginning is right around the corner. Things are going to be speeding up in the best possible way. Um, if you are thinking about giving up and throwing in the towel, don't you fucking dare. Okay. Your victory is on the horizon. It's on the horizon. Don't give up. All right. That's my message to the Aries today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I let you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.